Well, hi there. Uh, today we are going to interface the sensor SI7005 with the uh, particle photon. Now for the sensor, you can go inside controleverything.com and you can buy the sensor from here. It is a hum uh, humidity and temperature sensor with an accuracy of plus minus 4.5% uh, relative humidity and plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Now for its code, you can get into our resources section on controleverything.com and here is the particle code. Now uh, you can also check out our GitHub repository which is the control everything community for the Python code. Uh, in here you need to search for control everything community and then you can search for the sensor SI7005. Now when uh, after you have searched for the sensor there are certain uh, instructions that you need to fo follow for the particle photon uh, you need to uh, log in and set up the photon uh, on a specific id and the steps to do that is given in this link and then uh, once you have copied the code from a github repository you can uh, copy it inside the online ide and the link to the ide is this and then uh, you can verify and flash the code and after that you can check the output on dashboard.particle.io and this is the exact link now uh, let's take a look at the code inside particle and then here now uh, for particle on the device address 0x40 we have first of all uh, written a 0x11 on the configuration register to start the temperature measurement then uh, what we have done is we have read three bytes which includes the status temperature MSB and temperature LSB and then we have put that into a loop and after that uh, uh, what we have done is we have converted the data according to the formula given inside the data sheet then uh, we have done similar uh, thing for the humidity as well we have read uh, the humidity uh, 3 bytes and then we have put that in the loop as well after that um, what we have done is we have converted the data again according to the formula given inside the data sheet and we have published the data on the dashboard and this is how we do it we have published relative humidity temperature in degree celsius and degree fahrenheit now let's take a look at the hardware and then we will implement the code this is the particle photon module and this is an I2C shield which you can find on controleverything.com. Now we use this I2C shield to make the connections with other sensors easier. Now we have our sensor SI7005. Now to connect to this sensor we have an I2C cable. Now let's make the connections between the shield and the cable and the sensor first. Now while making connections please make sure that the brown cable uh, it is inserted inside the ground of the shield and similarly to the sensor as well. Let me show you. Uh, this is the brown cable and this is how it is done. Now let's make connections to the particle. Uh, well, push the header gently onto the I2C shield. Uh, after you have done that, uh, you can power up uh, the particle using a micro USB. Now here is a micro USB cable and let's power up the particle. Now as you can see the particle has been successfully powered up. Alright for the implementation of the particle code let's copy the whole code. And then uh, we need to open the online IDE of particle and the link to it is build.particle.io forward slash build. Now in my case uh, the particle has its device registered and the ID is already signed in into build. Now let's wait for the build to open. Alright. Uh, we have a build uh, here and now we need to create a new uh, file. Now as you can see uh, this file is created with .ino extension which is similar to the Arduino. Let's paste the code. Uh, the code has been pasted here and now save the code and after it has been saved you can verify the code 
and then flash the code. Now while flashing the code you have to wait for the magenta light to appear on the particle. Let's wait for that. And as you can see the magenta light is there on the particle. Now the code has been successfully flashed. Uh, now uh, let's go inside the dashboard to see its output. Now the link to the dashboard is dashboard dot particle dot io forward slash user forward slash logs now as you can see the relative humidity and the temperature in degree celsius and degree fahrenheit now if i put my finger onto the sensor the temperature increases and the humidity also increases. Similarly, if I remove my finger and the temperature gets back to normal somehow and then if I re-put my finger onto the sensor, the temperature increases again. Alright, now that you know how to interface the sensor ADT75, let me tell you some of its applications. Well, uh, the sensor can be used for uh, environmental control systems, computer thermal monitoring, thermal protection systems, industrial process control and power system monitors. Uh, well, um, you, if you have any kinds of doubts, you can go into the contact us section of controleverything.com or you can even leave your comments in the community portal of controleverything.com and for more videos and blogs you can check out our page on hackster.io and instructables.com please don't forget to subscribe us on youtube and thanks for watching